Gentlemen and ladies, thank you for returning to the channel. The price of AMC stock is up roughly 0.5% today. Unexpectedly, not just for AMC but also for the markets overall, this week is going to be chaotic. Along with AMC's profits, you have a ton of economic data to cope with. We're going to refer to today, Monday, as the chillest day of the week for our markets because it's by far the calmest day. It's the least exciting day no significant economic data or other news that could affect our markets is being released. Treasury securities, however, are moving 10E, as you can see. Treasuries are up 4.28%, or around 2 basis points. It may surprise you to learn that the Russell is now outperforming the other indices. Today, the SP is down by 0.15%, the NASDAQ is down, the Dow is up slightly by 0.02%, and the Russell is up by 0.55%. What is happening in this situation? The markets are saying, hey, if the data comes in like we think it will tomorrow, that's good news for uh, small meat app stocks, but that's where it gets interesting because 10-year treasuries are rising today, so that doesn't make sense and pushes back on that thesis. Now, part of it may have to do with NVIDIA SMCI showing some weakness today, but let's be honest if the data comes in bad like we're expecting tomorrow, like the markets are expecting almost nega 5% for your durable goods orders month over month. That's going to mean more rate cuts may be coming sooner. I do think that at this point in time, you need to see a broadening of our markets or else you're probably going to see your markets decline and your big tech names likely falling. So today is actually great. You want to see the Russell outperform. And it goes without saying that if you're watching this video, you also want to see the Russell outperform because you're probably invested in AMC stock. Now, let's go over everything you need to know about AMC specifically today. As of right now, AMC is up nearly 1% for the day. AMC overall has been red. It wouldn't surprise me if your small cap companies performed strongly on that, and AMC might perform really well following their earnings. It all boils down, in my opinion, to whether or not we receive a commitment not to dilute shareholders for a period of time, say six months. The stock of AMC will rise if we succeed. If we don't, the stock of AMC would likely decline and perform poorly. Nothing in the data in my opinion, will save AMC or significantly increase the stock price. You should approach it this way. If you have high hopes for AMC, you must think that we will receive a commitment not to reduce shareholder value. If we don't, it's likely that AMC's stock would decline, albeit it's unclear how much. All we need is strong statistics to make this work. Right now, I believe we'll most likely fall between 5 and 10%, and it's also feasible that we'll receive a pledge not to dilute shareholders. I have a trade on AMC earnings as well, which I have discussed on the channel a few times. You can view them by clicking on the names of the most recent videos. For this reason, I am optimistic about AMC results. The sentiment barometer for AMC stock is currently at 56, indicating a bullish view it was neutral at 52 yesterday, which is positive news. The low volume of today is preferable than the 36 from yesterday. As of right now, 41, the participation ratio is still rising and AMC is at 56, which is regarded as high. What does this signify? It indicates that the conversation regarding AMC is growing. The number of distinct accounts publishing on a stream relative to the total amount of messages on that stream is known as the participation ratio. Let's take another look at the Ortex data and see what institutions and hedge funds have to say. Institutions and hedge funds are not raising any red flags right now, to be but I believe the market is still generally bullish. Excellent figures call trades accounted for 79.6% of all trades, while put trades made up 20.3%. The overall picture indicates that the puts to calls ratio is 0.26. In other words, four times as many calls as puts are purchased today. Individual investors, market makers, institutions, and hedge funds are all included in this. People's general perceptions of the AMC options market are positive. That, in my opinion, is due to the business's results report, which raised hopes that it would do well going forward. It also may indicate that the corporation has made a commitment to stop diluting its shareholders. 12.23% short positions of 135.99 million dollars days to cover 1.873.63 million shares sold short at the moment, short shares out on loan 32.695124%, and a short score of 64.24 out of 100 are all present. These are respectable, although not particularly remarkable, numbers. Although it doesn't seem that insane right now, I do believe that if AMC stock rises following earnings, this will benefit the firm more than harm it. Even while I know many of you have followed this channel or invested in this stock for some time, I firmly think that the information presented here is completely inaccurate. Because AMC has been so easy to short, 
I think that AMC has been sold far too short by hundreds of percent. AMC will dilute shareholders, that's the nature of the trade, and I believe that's why it's so risky to be short in AMC right now. If that were to change, and we receive a commitment not to dilute shareholders' equity, which is something that nobody anticipates happening at this point in time, Wall Street would be forced to deal with AMC's need to raise $3 billion in capital over the next three years, so it would be in their best interest to continue shorting the stock. If, as I believe, this would eventually benefit us, provided that, once again, we receive a commitment not to dilute shareholders' equity. The estimate was $0.68 million, which indicates that there was a little decrease in the number of new homes sold. Month over month sales of new homes were positive 1.5%. We estimated 0.9% even though the guess was that we didn't have one. It was determined that the previous month's figure was 7.2% higher than it actually was. Although this month's number wasn't as good as previous months, a 1.5% increase from one month to the next is still not too awful. The Dallas Fed Manufacturing Index was expected to be 8, but it came in at 11.3 last month, down from minus 27.4. I'm not sure what about this data led to the increase in bond yields and the decrease in bond prices, but that's exactly what happened today. The fact that TLT is down nearly half of 1%, SP500 is down marginally, and AMC is now up 1.15% is a little odd. Bonds are still being sold, and the market is turning a bit red today, which begs the question of whether stocks will eventually reverse some of these limited gains in specific sectors. If it did occur, I wouldn't be shocked. Today, the dollar is down 0.15%. The dollar has increased significantly in 2024 thus far. Your small and micro stocks may benefit as well if the dollar declines. Conversely, gold has dropped by 0.5%. The fascinating thing about gold is that it has been rising from the October lows and has remained up in this demand zone. One thing you should watch out for is gold. If gold continues to spike higher, you have to consider the possibility that the economy will face difficulties soon. This is due to the fact that gold tends to rise during times of fear and to fall during times of prosperity. That's all that's happening today, which is kind of fascinating. AMC's RSI is currently almost positive at 47.2767676.0. It has been favorable in that regard for some time now because the overall yellow lines are above the blue line. At last, the earnings for today and the following day's Unity Zoom workday are as follows. SBA will report higher earnings later this week, as are HIMS, HERS, ONIC. Uh, Irut Car Experts, and Everbridge Hio. On Wednesday, AMC airs, you may see it here after hours. In addition, there is Salesforce Snowflake, Marathon Digital, AI, Okta, Paramount C3, and Dingo. Better auto parts by TJX or TGX or TGX on Wednesday after business hours by doing Wednesday before market tomorrow. Before market inside zone, Alaskan Cruise Line Lowe's Lending Tree modifies the method of payment Cracker Barrel, Macy's, and Devon for Solar Cava Ray Technologies, Beyond Meat Lemonade, Splunk, and Virgin Galactic are scheduled for Tuesday after hours. Thus, this week will undoubtedly see some action. The economy will see the most activity. Tell me what you think, please. Drop down how do you feel about AMC's financial results. Please share in the comments how you believe the facts will impact AMC as well. As usual, kindly hit the subscribe and like buttons. I'll see you in the upcoming video, and have a great remainder of your day.